Good afternoon. It's Saturday, Saturday afternoon, and I'm going around the house, doing all those little jobs that need to be done, looking at things that I can just get done quickly, jobs that you've been meaning to do for a while. And one of the jobs is dealing with this gorgeous plant, which has been on the windowsill in the kitchen which is an east-facing window, so it gets a lot of morning sun, but then indirect sun for the rest of the day, and it, it clearly seems to suit this beautiful mother of thousands, mother of millions. I think they're also known as a Mexican hat plant. Not too sure. Should have looked that up before I started doing the video, really, shouldn't I? But hey, and I don't know whether you can see from there, but she is having thousands of babies. And I think she is due for a repot. Let me just show you a close up so you can appreciate the amount of little gorgeous babelets that she's having. So here she is in all her glory. Beautiful leaves, beautiful green. And as you can see, lots and lots of what they call plantlets. And you can actually see them putting roots out already. So they are ready to be potted up. And this is the usual method of propagation. So I think what we need to do is we need to repot this whole plant. Look, she's covered. We need to repot the whole plant and then we need to pot up some of these plantlets so we get new plants. She's a beauty, huh? Let's just zoom out. So I've put down a couple of old cloths. I've got a large-ish plastic pot to put her into. And then I've got a smaller pot for the plantlets. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little look and see if we can get her out of her tub. Because there's only a small amount of compost in here. little squeeze. Oh yeah, she definitely needs, definitely needs repotting. Let's just pop her back. She's quite delicate. Now, compost wise, I'm using a succulent, cacti and succulent compost. I'm not putting anything in the bottom for drainage because I don't intend on getting her too damp and I haven't got anything. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some compost in here. I'm just making a, a bit of an indentation in the center so I can pop the plant in there. Right, here goes. I'm just placing her in there. I'm putting some compost into the other pot. Just for convenience for the moment. And then I'm going to use this to backfill. It's quite dry, this mix. And I'm just gonna fill around the sides. Turn the pot round. Lift up the leaves and fill. Just gently, gently press down. Now 
That should be fine. Give it a little water and we're done. So now the little babes that are falling everywhere. Fill up the other pot. Make sure there are no lumps. All you do is take them and pop them on the surface with their roots pointing downwards. Let's try and get a close-up of that. So you can see the little plantlets and they've got these tiny roots. All we're going to do is place that on top. I would choose to put the roots facing down. So there we have it. I've dotted a few around. I could probably fit a few more in. I'm going to give that some water. I'm going to spray some water on this and I'm going to cover it with a little bit of plastic, a sort of plastic bag, and leave it like that until they've taken root. I may just take a few more directly from here and pop them on because they're going to shed anyway. I guess I could do a few more to give away. I mean, there's literally hundreds on here. Hundreds of them. Crazy, absolutely crazy. They're shedding like crazy over here. In fact, I put this little pot here. I may as well put some compost in here and use this one too. And do exactly the same, just pop a few babes on top. Just take them directly from the plant. There we go. They can be placed back in an east facing window and they should root. So I put some plastic over them. I'll neaten it up a little bit in a minute, but they should be fine like that and they should start to root. I'm going to give this one some water, place them all back on the windowsill in the kitchen and I'll give you an update in a while when hopefully they start to grow. Lovely, job done. See you very soon. Bye for now, bye.